hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 11 assignment of the course cyber security and privacy guys please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content if i make any changes so do watch full video guys so if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates so these are completely our probable solutions guys if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we'll update that in the comment section so let's see the first question when does the general data protection regulation GDR, GDPR apply? So for first question, the probable answer is third option, both A and B. So mark option three as third option as the probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second question, guys. Second question, true or false? When personal data so this is true or false based statement guys so they have given a statement we have to uh, select whether it is true or false so let's see that when personal data is transferred outside the eu the protection offered by the gdpr need not travel within with the data so for second question the probable answer is false guys next third question third one The Information Technology IT Act in India was first enacted by the Indian Parliament in which year, guys? So for third question, the probable answer is fourth option in the year 2000. Next, fourth question. Fourth question, guys. Privacy is a fundamental right in India. Yes, it is. True, guys. Next, fifth question. Which of the following rights does the DPD, DPDP Act grant to data principles for the personal data they have previously given consent? So for first fifth question, the probable answer is all these three options, guys. That is right to correct, right to compl complete and update, and right to erasure. So mark fourth option, all the above as the probable option for the fifth question. Now let's move on to the sixth one. So before getting uh, before getting into the sixth question, so I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the course cyber security and privacy, we have collected the exam preparation MCQs, guys. These are past years NPTEL assignment questions with five years of NPTEL experience. We have collected this. So here you are going to get a huge number of 120 MCQs, 120 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So 120 MCQs for one person it is 150. If you take it as five persons, if your classmates are friends doing the same course so ask them to join so that five members of a uh, five members group can take it for combinedly 500 rupees guys for one person it is 150 for five persons combinedly 500 rupees so if you want to purchase then mail me to this email id guys bk1794417 at the red gmail.com so i will give the same email id in the description box as well so mail mail us to this email id if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail us guys so such option is also available you can search any question you want which makes you too easy to revise and the validity will be till the exam results day guys and high syllabus will be covered within less time these are the features for this pdf so you can get better preparation with this pdf so 120 mcqs you'll get that in a google drive pdf restricted link for one person it is 150 rupees for five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id bk1794 at the red gmail.com now let's move on to the solutions so sixth question when was gdpr enforced so for sixth question the probable answer is second option may 25th 2018 so mark second option as the probable solution for sixth question now let's move on to the seventh one. So seventh question, which legal basis for processing personal data applies when someone's life is in danger and the processing is necessary to save it? So for seventh question, the probable answer is second option, vital interests. Let's move on to the eighth question now. 
Within how many hours does GDPR require organizations to report cyber incidents? So for 8th question, the probable answer is second option, 72 hours. So mark second option as the probable solution for 8th question. Next, ninth question. As per GDPR, when should an organization appoint a data protection officer DPO? So for ninth question, the probable answer is fourth option, guys. When there is significant processing of personal data, sensitive data on a large scale. So mark fourth option as the probable solution for ninth question. And before moving into the final question, that is tenth one, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So for the course cyber security and privacy, we have collected the exam preparation MCQs. So for 120 questions, you will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So 120 MCQs, guys. 120 MCQs, guys. For one person, it is 150. For five persons, combinedly 500 rupees. So this is the mail ID, guys. If you are confirmed to make the payment, then only mail us. So bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So mail me to this email ID if you're confirmed to make the purchase, guys. Already many students have already taken the pack and started preparing. So take it now itself so that you can get more time to revise later. Now let's get back to the last question. So 10th question, true or false? Indian Telegraph Act 1885 did not provide intercepted powers to the government. So for 10th and final question, the probable answer is false, guys. So friends, these are the solutions for week 11 assignment of the course, cyber security and privacy. So hope this video helpful for you guys. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this with your friends. So please subscribe our, to our channel if you are confirmed, if you are helpful for this channel. So 120 MCQs you will get guys. For one person it is 150 rupees only. Already many students have taken the pack. So for five persons, it is combinedly 500 rupees, guys. So mail me to this email ID only if you are confirmed to make the payment. So because many genuine students are messaging us, so we have to give PDF access for everyone in the priority order. So only if you are confirmed to make the payment, then only mail us, guys. So please discuss this with your friends and classmates in your own official WhatsApp college student groups. So make everyone aware of this. So for the past five years, we have been giving consistently uploading the solutions for these courses, many courses, guys. So with that confidence, we have collected this. So mail me to this email ID if you are confirmed to purchase this 120 MCQ spec. So that's it, guys, for this video. So keep supporting us like this. So your support is very important for us in order to continue the course videos. So I think we have uploaded many videos which are helpful for you. So if you get if you feel there should be any changes in these solutions, you can please give your opinion in the comment section. So positively so that we can try to sort it out. So keep supporting us like this guys. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.